is that I ask. If you would have your wish, then give me mine. The Prince of Persia games. Mm -hmm. I really liked the first one, Sons of Time. Loved it. It was a great game. Nobody bought it, but it was good. I agree completely. I never forgave Ubisoft for, for Warrior Within. That was a horrible game. I'm sorry, but it, it was, was, uh, it was um, God of War pre God of War. Huh? Wanna be? It was it was like a, a thousand and one nights game uh, with with heavy metal in it. Yeah. Not a good combination. So I didn't. I actually never played the Two Thrones. Okay. It was uh, because I didn't. I, I was so angry at the emo prince for, from uh, from <laughs> Warrior Within that, that I, I I never even bothered. But now, <laughs> finally, I can actually forgive them. Uh, because there's a new Prince of Persia game out, and I, so far I really like it. And At least the Prince. Yeah, and the Prince isn't even emo anymore. He's more no, of an uh, no. Indiana Jones sort of guy. Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 a brand new game, uh, and it's sort of sort of back to the roots, but still in a completely new packaging. Uh, yeah. And of course, if you've seen anything from the game, uh, you've seen the graphics. Yeah. And first and foremost, we should mention that, yes, the graphics are really just as good as they look. I mean, the beautifully colored design, everything runs so smooth, animation is awesome. Um, everything just looks like it. Pretty much. Yeah, very much agreed. I'm so impressed with the graphics in Prince of Persia. Yeah. Um, the, the concept art started coming out a long time ago, and you see all the screenshots, and you, yeah, okay. It's never well, going to happen. Exactly, it's yeah. not going to be that pretty. But it is. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Gameplay-wise, um, maybe not as tight as the old games. Um, it is really very tight, but but um, before when 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 uh, the first gameplay bits began to, to come out about this game, Ubisoft was very uh, very fast to just go out and explain that this was a Prince of Persia game for the masters. They really wanted everyone to be able to play it, and that's actually my main grab about the game. I think it's fine that, that everything is able to to, uh, to play this game, but the solution is that everything has been just streamlined too much. I mean, the controls, I mean, you almost all just have to, to, to point at where you want the prince to go, push the stick forward, and he'll do it himself. I mean, if, if you're lucky, you have to push, what, one extra button, and he does it. And it's the same way through the whole game, even the fighting system which actually has a lot of really cool options and is really cinema cinematic like they wanted it to be. It's just it's so easy and it's, it's so see-through. I mean, when, when you learn the first combo, you will pretty much be able to do the same thing throughout the whole game. Yeah, but yeah, we had, we've had a discussion about this earlier today. And uh, well, I, I, I can see the, the, the streamlined design and the streamlined controls and fighting system as something bad, but I can't help loving it. Uh, because it allows me the freedom just to be immersed in it. Yeah, it's really easy. It's, that should be said. It's ridiculously easy at some point. Yeah. But I still get that, that rush in the stomach when I'm doing the, these amazing jumps. Uh, um, I, I, I would like to be able to, to say the same, but that's exactly what I'm missing. I'm missing this... Uh, when playing a game like Mirror's Edge, you really feel the motion. Oh, yeah. You feel every little bit that happens with this person. Whereas in, in Prince of Persia, it's pretty much, to me, it's pretty much just a movie. I mean, even, even uh, when I die, the death animation is right about as long as it takes me to be revived again. And it all goes so fast that I can almost hear the silence just whispering to me, it's all right, you didn't really die. Nobody notices it, just go on, continue play. And I mean, I can die the same place Ten times, and there isn't really any consequence. It's just, yeah, just keep on moving. Uh, everyone uh, will forget about it. Um, just keep on going, and, and you will start to enjoy this game. And I never really did. I mean, it's so solid. It's so well put together. Like we started out talking, uh, the graphics are just insane. Everything just works. Besides the game. Well, I, I understand your gripe with it, absolutely. Because, as, I, as mm. we said a couple of times, it's really, really easy. Uh, and the fighting system is easy and everything. But I love it. it, 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 it two different viewpoints at the same yeah. problem. 
It is really easy, and, and, and perhaps they should have made it more like the at least uh, the first game. I, 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 would, I would just have liked to see some options to actually turn some of all this help off, like uh, like uh, the, the the chambers in, in Bioshock, that actually also revived you, you know, just a couple of minutes before you actually died. But in, in Bioshock, you were able to, to just say, hey, um, this is only allowed three times. And Ubisoft there, uh, oh, sorry, in, uh, in uh, Prince of Persia, there are no such options because Ubisoft just wanted to be able to, to sell a game that everyone would be able to play. Uh, and everyone means looking at the you know, lowest dec decominator, which is uh, the complete newbie. Yeah. yeah, you might have a point there, but yeah. I'm sold, I'm sorry. It's all right. I, I would like to be able to enjoy the game as much as you, but I haven't just, I just haven't been able to. But it's better than worry with them. Oh yeah, a whole lot.